hello lovely people you are welcome once again to rona 360 if you have not subscribed kindly do so subscribe click on the notification bell like this video and also comment join the conversation so that together we can grow so something remarkable has happened or two four or say to two the king of asante man the one who sits on the lion skin has delivered a powerful presentation this is a lesson that we must all learn and if you want to know what that lesson is about kindly stay and let's go <laughs> Two four or say to two the second, the king of the Ashanti kingdom met with his elders, and aside the numerous things that he spoke about, just about when his message to them was about ending, he decided to throw in a little education to the entire Ashanti mind. If you are an Ashanti, if you are someone who wants to know the customs and traditions of the Ashantis or the Akans in Ghana, then I bet you have to stay and listen to this. So the king started by advising chiefs to be resolute and be circumspect on how they spend monies that come to them in their role as chiefs. In fact, what he said is very profound because the king said that the reason why chieftaincy has become an issue or king making has become an issue in most parts of Ghana and even in his kingdom is that the chief is understood. The queen mother who is by his side sees how money comes around and in the palace and sees how the chief who has a wife uses the money with his wife and children neglecting the queen mother and so whenever that chief dies and there is a need to install a new chief the queen mother will be too quick to say that he has someone even if that person is young and does not know the traditions of the people he will be quick to bring that person out all because when money came to the palace the queen mother was neglected so the wise king was advising various chiefs in the ashanti kingdom and in ghana that if you truly want peace to prevail in your kingdom if you want peace 
to prevail in your palace, you must treat our queen mothers very well. You must make sure they are fed very well. Whatever money that comes in the palace, they are giving their due share. And for us at Rona 360, this is very important. And this is coming from King Solomon, as you all call him, the Asantehene, letting the sub chiefs know that if you want peace to prevail whilst you are alive, and if you want peace to prevail when you pass on to the ancestors, and there is a need to ensue a new king, it will depend on how you treat the queen mother who is by your side. And then after the king passed this word to the wise, he then moved on to the very profound topic of the proper way and why these are the steps to go by when you want to bring out somebody to be understood as a chief in the Ashanti kingdom. This is what the king said. The king said that first of all, if there is a surviving queen mother and Abrewetia, the queen mother, we all know her, the Abrewetia is the oldest woman in the house or the woman that has been nominated by the family as the custodian of tradition and history in the family. We call them Abrewetia. And so the king said if a, if a chief dies, and he survived by queen mother and an abrewetia and there's a need to install a new chief the steps begin this way the queen mother must have an indoor family consultation with the abrewetia and then choose someone who is befitting this consultation this nomination goes on within the family of the royal family that needs to bring out a nomination to be understood it does not happen outside there must not be a rift between a queen mother and an abrewetia and there must not be a rift or misunderstanding between the queen mother the surviving queen mother and the family head because this nomination process begins with the queen mother and the abrewetia and does not involve the family head in any way this is profound this goes a long way to show wh why and how our queen mothers or our mothers the female gender is very important in the ashanti kingdom in the ashanti mind and then after there is an agreement between the queen mother and the abrewetia then they invite or they go to the family head which we call in the account palace as ebusia penny and inform the family head that both of us Abrewetia and Queen Mother, we have agreed. And the reason why it is between the Queen Mother and the Abrewetia is because the Abrewetia might, or in most cases, older than the Queen Mother. And so she will know the true lineage of the individual whose name has come up for nomination. She would have lived long to know the character and the lifestyle of that young man or that old man whose name has come up to be nominated as a chief. And so the queen mother with the abrewetia will do this consultation with the royals and agree on one and will inform the family head. Let's listen to that part. Eight, <laughs> <laughs> 
ansana abambe mikono So all that the king said is what I have explained. That when the stool becomes vacant in any of the domains of Asantiman in Ghana, it is the duty of the Queen Mother and Abrewetia to meet, have a very peaceful, and the underlying word is peaceful because in most cases, as I have noticed in most parts of Ghana, you realize that a Queen Mother will nominate someone for him to be sworn in as a chief and the Abrewetia will not be in agreement and the Abrewetia will also nominate someone. So as Antehine or two four or say you two the second, being a white skin and knowing the customs and traditions that he has inherited from his forefathers and from the great Okonfanoche, as he himself said it, says that the proper way is that this nomination process, which is the first stage, first important stage of the nomination process, is done between the Queen Mother and the Abrewetia and is done peacefully behind closed doors, not in the open, not in a form of a fight or a rift. It is done indoors without even the knowledge of the whole public. 
before they go and inform the family head. In this case, the family head, who is known as the Ebusha Penny, has no right in choosing somebody. He has no right in even nominating. The nomination and the selection is done by the Abiretia and the Queen Mother, and then they inform the head of the family. Now, in fact, this is so wonderful. The king has explained the process so simple for every individual to understand. It is at the final stage that the chiefs, all these people in charge, will now bring him before him as the kingdom head, as the head of the kingdom, of the Santa kingdom, so that this nominated person will now swear to him an oath of allegiance, an oath of service, and an oath of commitment and secrecy to him and will swear and take the entire kesie, the biggest oath or the biggest covenant that any person can make as an ashanti is to take the entire kesie, that he owes allegiance to asante and that he will answer the call of the asante in rain in fire except when he is sick or when he is dead now king solomon asante hini osay to two the second nana abebi o nana un kaso long live the king as wise as he is reason that people will be skeptical and say okay if you are saying that this is the process when a chief dies and he has surviving queen mother and abiruetia this is what we are supposed to follow what if there is no queen mother or there is no abiruetia what should be the process long live the king
The king, without even being asked this question, said that in the process where there is an absence of a queen mother or an abiruetia, is when the head of the family now gets so much involved in the selection and the nomination process of a candidate for the stool. So, in the absence of an abiruetia or a queen mother, the head of the family will now call a meeting of the royals. And this royal meeting will be the females, not the males. The mothers who have sons, whose sons can be a possible candidate for the stool because Ashantis are matrilinear, Akans are matrilinear. And so, chaired by the Abusia Penny, that is when there is no surviving Abriwetia or Queen Mother. And through a peaceful consultation, the underlying word is peaceful consultation through a peaceful consultation with these royal mothers or mothers who are royals in the family who has to nominate someone will agree on which of them their son should be the right candidate based on the ages and the order in which they follow in the family and then all that then the family head will again inform the jasehene that is the chief charge of the family affairs and the chief will also inform the Kurunti Hine and then the Abontendom Hine and they will go through the rituals and the process before they bring the candidate to the Menshia Palace to be sworn and for that person to take the oath of secrecy, the oath of commitment and the oath of service in front of him, the Asante Hine, before he can be installed as a chief in the Ashanti region or in Asante Mine. Asante Kingdom goes beyond that religion. The Ashanti kingdom, once again, I will repeat, goes beyond the Ashanti region. Just as the Gan state or the Gan kingdom also goes beyond the greater Accra region and other kingdoms same. Now, this is a profound message for us because people like Rona360 who are in charge of showcasing and promoting our culture, our traditions, the arts and TV this whole process of nomination of selection goes with arts the the cloth the regalia and all these things are artistic instruments that will herald and be part of this process and if we are a channel that is into the promotion and showcasing of culture it means that culture is the way we live and and the way we live is our history and our future and so this message is a historic message we want to share with you so that people who are interested in knowing our roots and keeping our culture as Africans, Africans made in the image of God, and who have a system of life that we are supposed to live with, it will help us know our history so that we will not err when such issues come up in our families so that we can better even share with people who might have forgotten or will not know. One wise woman once said that we can only have fear for the future if we forget how God has led us in the past. In other words, there will be fear for future in kin making in our families if we forget how things have been done in the past. And we turn for or say to two abe bio the second standing and sitting on a stool as Asantemaiura, the owner of and the king of Asanteman was only reiterating how things have been done in the past as Ashantis in the selection process of candidates who can be chiefs in the Ashanti kingdom. So long live the king. Red is so happy to share this information with our 
viewers please if you are in any part of ghana please type in the comment section how your tribe also does this what is the selection process if a stool becomes vacant we want to learn we want to share if if you even have a video that you can even share please do so send it to our email rna360 at gmail.com so that we watch get the fact and do a proper analysis and share with our viewers subscribe and are watching us our our friends our brothers and sisters in the diaspora need to know this other tribes need to learn so that there can be a peaceful cohabitation and coexistence a peaceful coexistence between us living in ghana because we have only one ghana and we have only one continent as africans long live the ashanti kingdom long live every chief long live every other kingdom every tribe in ghana there is beauty in diversity and ghana we live with this beauty of diversity this is what we have for you i believe you have learned a lot from this video and if you have kindly subscribe okay because we have a lot of interesting stuff coming for runa 360 and like i always say if you love the arts if you are an artist if you love your culture as a Ghanaian, as an African, and if you cherish and love Tivet, then please stay away from harmful drugs, narcotic drugs, because drugs can destroy your life. Drugs destroy. So stay away from that. And I bet you, you'll be blessed subscribing and being part. Also, comment in the comment section and share this video so that we can grow together. Peace.